9, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and as you know, I reside in the great state of Michigan. I want to do an update real quick. Today, I'll be going to the Clawson Fest, which is going to be very fun. So, I'm looking forward to that. I'll keep you guys out ahead of the charts, and hopefully tonight we can do a Twitch Live as long as everything goes good at the house. Um, had, a, had an incident the other day with my neighbor, Jack. He's 71 years old. He has a husky. He was by my house and he was walking his dog and his dog like pulled him backwards and he had a violent fall and smacked his head on the concrete and had blood just dripping out so I had him immobilized and had to call 911 and he had to get a few staples but he's good back at home resting but just something that's on my mind so say a prayer for Jack he's a he's a um army veteran great guy so but fortunately I'm good under those situations so Make sure to hit that like button, turn that bell notification on, and please subscribe to the channel if you're new or returning. We have over 13,100 subscribers in such a short amount of time for a reason. I keep you up ahead and in front of the market each and every day. That's my job. That's what I take pride in. So I wanted to focus on XRP. Again, what we talked about last night, if you knew, what we've been talking about is the fact that we have not been able to break down. The only good thing is, is last night we came down to 32.84, but again, it's a wick down. So we still haven't confluently broke down, but that's a big step. Now, we really don't want to get back on top of the 20-day because if you get back on a 20-day, this is where you can liquidate shorts again and come back up to 34.37. But really, what I'm excited about is the fact we dump down like this, and if we get rejected here now at 33.93, we could pull down and finally break this 33.26 handle. The problem is, is what we've done last night and into right now is those are just wicks down. So when you're dealing with just wicks, it can become very tricky because they can bounce back up and have these weird effects. But... Like I said yesterday, this bearish continuation pattern, as long as it uses that 33.26 as resistance, I mean a rejection point, you're coming down to about, let's uh, you'd come down to 28.87. That was a big move down yesterday to 32.85, but again, like I said, don't get fooled by just wicks. They've got to be candle closes, and we can't get these candles, look at that four hour wick pulled it right back up, but that's a huge move to try to push us further down and just now watch today if 33.89 resistance holds if not you can still have a small rally this weekend because the futures is closed i just like i've been saying i would not go long if i was doing a position i would be going short i was sleeping last night when it pushed through but i'm certainly paying attention for if we get a drop down and break back down through 32 326 this is becoming a very clear picture now it's just we could have a small reversal taking place. So do not get trapped. Do not get stuck. I'll be back shortly. XRP Future Millionaire. Hit that like button. Hashtag be better.